What's up guys? Joe Max FPV here. So I tried to start this video before, but clearly my SD card was fucking full, so I ran out. What this video is, is I'm installing the uh, Rapid Fire module by Immersion RC in Dominator V3s. Um, so let me see if I can give you a sum up of where I'm at. So first things off, here's the module, and you have to install this ribbon. Um, let me set this up and show you what I did. I'll pull it back out and show you. So because, because the Dominators um, don't work like the HDOs, I guess they require a different power output or input or whatever. Don't hold me. I'm not technically inclined with that kind of shit. But basically, you got to run this power ribbon. So in order to install this ribbon, all you have to do is this little black piece next to the white. If you can see it, that black, you pull that back out, and that allows the ribbon to go in. And then you pull the black back in, and it locks it in place. So that's where I'm at right now. So next, I'm installing the module in the bay. Very carefully, you want to make sure the pins line up properly. And then the module slides in nice. So there, the module's in. This is ready to go across. Now this red piece it has to be installed. And where that installs is, as you can see, it has to slide into those guys there. So push all your black wires out of the way. Get it lined up on those pin and those pins there. And once you get it where it's supposed to be, you're just going to push this down into place. And this is your head tracking port. So it looks like I think we're lined up. Sorry about the camera angle, guys. All right. So there it is. I just pushed it down into place. That's officially installed in there. Next thing you got to do is the black thing like I mentioned before. You're going to want to pull that out. Now, since I have enormous fingers, I'm going to do it using needle nose pliers carefully. So you pull that little black guy back. See how I did that? I opened that black up. Now you're going to bring your ribbon across. And it's going to go with those lines facing up. So we're going to line this up. And I'm trying to do this so that you guys can see, but it might be hard because I have big hands. I'm, I apologize for that. Let me try to do it to the side. And it's not that easy, trust me. It's finicky. Well, it's easy if I'm not trying to make it so that you can see it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see if I can do it like this. Oop, almost had it. Cue that thing a few moments later. Yeah, that is fucking tricky. Big fucking fingers. I sorry, I shouldn't be all swearing. A lot of hopefully a lot of people watch this and this helps somebody. Or maybe it won't help anybody because I can't do it. Maybe I should have put it in first. That might be a good idea. force this little ribbon but it is a little harder than it looks I think that went in so then what you gotta do is you push that black back in and that should lock it in place yep so now it's locked in place Make sure that's pushed down, and there, that's in there. So as you can see, I got that power piece in there. You push the black back. This side's in, that side's in. So now, you're going to want to stick this nice and straight across the front of your goggles. So on the back of this is adhesive tape. So you pull that little piece off. Line this up where you want it. I don't really care if mine's perfect. But we'll see how I end up. So there. There's my ribbon. Cross. And then they give you these handy dandy stickers. I'm going to go with flashy red. Because it goes with the rest of the shit. 
Now this, just line it up on there nice. There we go. So that covers up the ribbon so it's protected. And then you're just going to put the, your panel back over this and you are all hooked up. So it's pretty simple. Nice easy installation. I think this is the right cover for the dominators. We'll find out right now. Yes, it is. And that's it. We are officially connected. Now just to check, let's uh, check the power real quick. Rapid fire. Now, we'll go across to power setting, which I've never done, so you're going to do this with me. Um, going across all the stuff I don't see power oh here we go that's the antennas status low power yes why is it saying low power I don't know why it's saying low power unless my ribbon is not connected right. I will double check that really quick and see. All right guys, what I did wrong was uh, one of the end, the ribbon on one end wasn't in all the way. So as you see now, low power, no. So basically, just make sure that your ribbon is all the way in before you lock that little black thing down and you'll be good to go. So as you can see here, low power, nope. Ribbon's all across and installed. That guy's in the module bay with the ribbon installed, and we are good to go. So now I'm just going to put the cover back on and put the uh, head tracker cover port back on, and that's it. And we're ready to try out the rapid fire. So I'll do a follow-up video showing, um, comparing how it works and my overall impressions. But for now, at least this way, you know how to install it. All right. Thanks so much, guys. I hope this helps somebody. And... Uh, because I know I didn't know how to do it. I just kind of fumbled my way through it. So I wanted to put it up and hopefully somebody gets some help out of this. All right, peace. Thank you guys for watching and I appreciate all the support.